What up, fish people? Kenny E. with Danikit Aquatics. Hey guys, coming to you from my little fish room down here in my lower level. I call this the big boy room. Obviously, you can see it's all the big boy tanks. Anyway, wanted to take a video of my wife's new fish. These are her albino millennial, millennium angels. Real. Millennial rainbows, I should say. Anyway, she's got those guys, and then she's also got the regular. I was down here today, I noticed I got a couple of angel fish starting to pick at this piece of manzanita there. It's that little diamond scale there. And then there's a little fat female right there. So I don't know if they might end up having to get them in their own tank. This old uh, silver dollar is one I saved. The gentleman uh, had them. It's a 16 year old silver dollar. He's getting ready to go through some health issues, so he wanted to give him a good home. He's definitely seen his better days, but he is still hanging in there. I believe he's 100% blind. But we'll give him a good life for the rest of the time he's here. Have to excuse the water, guys. Just did a water change, so I stirred everything up in here. But everything in this tank seems to be thriving. That's one of my extra hunter and red points. He is the odd man out, so he didn't have a mate, so he's ended up down here. In our little school of silver dollars. A little Geophagus Sabenis. We've got a total of... Uh, six of those now and what else we have in here a little school of albino Coriodoras and then I've got a royal pleco and then a para pleco in here as well as two tuna sharks anyway every, like I said everything in here seems to be thriving and I'm due to apologize for the water noise in the background. I am doing my water changes. This is water change day for this room, so Oscars are rather happy about it. Old Loki and Vidar. I did add a pleco in there for them now too. That particular tank gets a lot of natural sunlight. It comes through the window, so. Well, yeah, there's our school of rainbows. Eventually, these guys are going to end up in their own 135, along with other rainbows that we pick up along the way. But I, my wife's been waiting for these to come in at the wet spot, and finally they came in, so she felt the need to grab some. A week from Sunday, guys, it's going to be the Greater Portland Aquarium Society meeting already. And I'm telling you, it's going to be one that you want to be at. There's going to be several tanks, larger tanks, uh, one of which is a 135 with all the goodies. It's got LED lights, uh, canopy and stand, as well as a cascade filter, and I believe it comes with a couple of heaters. And then I have a 55, just glass only. And then I'm going to be picking up a young lady, contacted the club. I believe she has a 72 bow front and a couple of 36 bow fronts. So there'll be some interesting tanks. And then also, Roland Holtz and I did tear down that 135, of which was a heavily planted tank. So there are going to be a ton of plants at this one. And then keep in mind, we didn't have a meeting per se where there was an auction this past month in July because it was our annual barbecue. So there will be, I'm sure, a lot more BAP fish. I know my wife and I are going to be BAPing. What do we have? Uh, platinum half beaks. We're going to have um, 
deep water hops. Uh, what else did we have? Oh, uh, Signata Shelly Fish. And then, is that everything? I think that's it for now. Oh, and then uh, if you're an African cichlid keeper, I will be taking five dragon bloods to be bapped as well. So anyway, this is probably a meeting. I'm only one of several, several, several members we have. So I'm sure the other members are in the same boat. So if you haven't ever been to a Greater Portland Aquarium Society meeting, uh, the one here in August, I believe, will be a great one. We're also going to have an awesome speaker, Cameron. He is the manager down at Wet Spot. Uh, college degree kid. He went to Purdue. Uh, actually has a degree in fish. Uh, his main specialty in love is catfish. That's what he's going to be doing the meeting about. I think he'll give a great presentation. And then following Cameron's presentation, we will have our auction. And like I said, I do anticipate it being quite the auction this time. So anyway, what's everybody else doing on this fine Tuesday? If you didn't see my video the other day, I did find work. I'm going to be an auto consultant for Auto Solutions. Basically, we help all the credit union members local. And then also, if you are somebody that comes to me, I can get you the same kind of a deal. Uh, basically what that means to you is it doesn't matter what kind of make model you're looking for I can get access to everything any new car or used car I, I can get it anyway so if you're in the Portland area feel free to give me a call at 503-484-8658 be more than glad to help you with that as well But the beautiful thing about it, guys, is I am now, I don't know how to act, I am in the car business still, but I am going to be banker's hours. My scheduled hours will be 8.30 to 4.30, Monday through Friday. <coughs> However, should you need me to be later or come in on a Saturday, I mean, there's a way to work around that. I do work by appointment after hours as well. I understand people happen to work. Yeah, so my wife and I are probably now going to have to find another tank for these guys. Our Scalaris Angels that were in the 240 are now going to be in to put into 100. I don't know if they're thinking about breeding or what, but they're creating absolute terror in that 240. So they're going to be put, being put in a 100-gallon tall for by themselves. And then I'm probably going to put a breeding cone in there. I have a funny suspicion that they're getting active every... All my, I've, I've got Koi Angels in these Platinums, and then I've also got uh, Discus upstairs that keep trying to breed. I keep having an issue. My wife is an absolute snail lover, but snails are not friends of breeding fish. They tend to like to eat eggs. So I've been culling about 50 a day out of there, and I still haven't gotten to the bottom of them yet. So my puffers are loving it, and then there's a couple tanks that... I wouldn't mind having a couple snails here and there that I've put them in. So anyway, that's kind of the issues we've been dealing with. We've got lots of stuff starting to breed. Just got to get prepared for it. Then we have our Honduran uh, red points breeding like crazy. So anyway, again, we're going through it. My wife did set up our, we got 12 or 13 10 gallons set up. And then we've also got a bunch of 20s that have come free with some of the shuffling I've done. I have another tank I'll show you guys at a later time that I, I did a 55 for a bunch of my grow outs for all my Africans. And right now I've got, gosh, Cayuga Flamebacks, uh, Dragon Bloods, and Deepwater Hops in there. Not sure what I'm going to do with all this Honduran Red Point Fry yet. My wife took over one of my 55 grow out tanks because she put her Savini in there, which is fine by me, but those guys are absolute tears, so I can't put anything else. 
And with the Solaris acted up, there went Drogon, my Black Nasty's new home. That's where he was heading into that 100 gallon to grow out some more. But unfortunately, that's going to have to be put on hold again. I'm sure we're going to have to bid on the 135 that will be at the next meeting. So we are again running out of uh, bigger fish space. We also have some motas that are being donated to us from a good friend, Andy Newton. So we're going to need to have tank space for those guys. Then my wife's little rainbow, she wants a 135 for that as well. So like I said, we're going to have to probably think about some more tanks. Anyway, guys, as always, love your fish. This is Kenny E. with Danikin Aquatics. Going to check out for now. You all have an awesome Tuesday, and I'll talk to you all a little later. And as always, guys, I sure appreciate if you can like and subscribe to my channel. It's very much appreciated. You guys have a great day, and we'll catch you a little later.